Storm Shield Weather, certified most accurate. Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Brandon Woolley tracking some changes on the way for later tomorrow, especially later tomorrow afternoon and through tomorrow evening with some showers and thunderstorms and some of those thunderstorms could be turning severe, especially closer to the Kansas border you are. And high temperatures remaining below average those highs. Those highs will be into the 80s with the average high temperature for the year at 92 at the Tulsa Airport. Live now on Doppler radar, you can see a mixture of clouds and sunshine and just a few widely scattered light to moderate showers southeast of McAllister at this time. And this is actually on the outer bands of Tropical Storm Harvey. So some of the cloud cover and some of those showers making it all the way to southeastern Oklahoma for today. 85 degrees is your current temperature. Southeasterly winds fairly light, all less than about 10 miles per hour. And the high temperature today so far has been 85 and the sunset tonight it should be a good one just before 8 o'clock. Check out some of those current temperatures now up to the north in Bartlesville at 86, 86 as well in Coffeyville into the upper 80s around Tahlequah and cooler around Muskogee and Stigler here at the 6 o'clock hour, both at 82. Well, you can see on the satellites and radar, Tropical Storm Harvey, lots of rain still across southeast Texas, and it's not going to move much over the next several days. Maximum sustained winds with Harvey now up to 65 miles per hour. And again, you can see those outer bands of Harvey coming all the way to southern Oklahoma at this time. Timing things out on future track clouds and precipitation. So overnight tonight, just some cloud cover from Harvey from time to time, but it's going to remain dry across the Channel 2 viewing area. Then tracking those changes on the way for later tomorrow. Now for Sunday morning, it doesn't look bad. It's looking dry out there, but then by the afternoon, we're going to have this cold front come down from Kansas and we could see the biggest threat out there in terms of severe weather closer to the Kansas border. As I mentioned, this is timestamp tomorrow afternoon at five as that cold front glides down to the